Somalia's President Mohamed Farmajo has said he is cutting short his official visit to neighboring Ethiopia. This on, in order to return and participate in the burial of the youngest minister in his government. In a tweet, the president expressed his sadness at the loss of the 31-year-old minister, who he described as young, diligent, and intelligent. President Abdullahi has also called for an investigation into the incident, which he termed an unfortunate tragedy. Condolences have been trickling in from leaders across the continent with the AU Commission Chair Musa Faki Mahamat sending his regards early Thursday morning. Well, let's now get you more on that story. CGTN's Abdulaziz Bilo is standing by for us in Mogadishu. Abdulaziz, just give us more details about what exactly happened in this incident near the presidential palace that led to the death of the minister. Well, Mahi, at exactly around 7 a.m., shots were fired at the main entrance to Somalia's uh, Villa Somalia. That's uh, the presidential palace uh, in, located in a very heavily fortified uh, zone here of uh, Mogadishu. So at exactly 7 a.m., uh, a, a government uh, official, the Auditor General, was headed towards the presidential uh, palace. And uh, once he approached the main entrance to the presidential palace, there was a second vehicle uh, the minister was driving. And uh, due to the close proximity, the, uh, the security detail of uh, the Auditor General uh, 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 thought that maybe this, the vehicle might be that of a militant group Al-Shabaab or a possible uh, suicide bomber. There was uncertainty and uh, one of the soldiers uh, guarding uh, the Auditor General uh, uh, tried to stop the vehicle by firing uh, a warning shot. But apparently that warning shot uh, was the killer bullet that finally uh, killed the 31-year-old uh, uh, Abdullah Sheikh Abbas, locally known as, as Abbas Siraj here in uh, Somalia. So that's how the event uh, unfolded there. But uh, uh, so far, investigation is still ongoing. There's no official police report towards uh, the killing of uh, Abdullah Sheikh Abbas, the 31-year-old Minister of Housing and uh, Public Works, who was just named a minister two months ago by Prime Minister uh, Hassan Ali Qayre. Now the president has also cut short his visit and is here in Somalia uh, is coming right uh, very soon to Somalia to participate in a national uh, in, in a burial, national burial ceremony for the slain uh, minister Mahia and indeed Abdulaziz uh, the 31 year old was the youngest cabinet minister in President Farmajo's uh, government what more can you tell us about Abd uh, Abbas Abdullahi Sheikh Siraj well, Mahia, uh, the 31-year-old uh, uh, was uh, his story shines out quite clearly. He was born here in Somalia, in a place called Afmadu, in 1985. And at age seven, he was forced to flee Somalia and uh, went to the He was among the first uh, families to arrive there, and they were among the first families actually to reside in uh, the Dab that's now home to more than 300,000 uh, Somali uh, refugees. So he spent uh, 20 good years in uh, neighboring Kenya before he returned back here to Somalia in 2011, where he started working at, at the uh, local level, working with the uh, local NGOs, and finally uh, uh, he was employed by the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, UNFAO, and he was uh, coordinating the relief efforts across uh, the country. So uh, after uh, that, in uh, 2011, uh, once he came back here, he started uh, knowing uh, the situation on the ground because he was out of the country for almost uh, two decades. So uh, he took his uh, chances in uh, 2016, and he defeated a three-time member of parliament who was then uh, a minister here in Somalia, and he clinched the seat of MP from the Jubaland uh, state. Now, he was uh, named uh, Minister of Housing and Public Works by Prime Minister Hassan al Qaire. And uh, the reason as to why the Prime Minister picked him was to ingest a uh, new hope among the youth that uh, not just uh, the old people uh, can come into power, but also the government was determined to give the young people, and especially people from uh, the Dab refugee camps and uh, Somali refugees returning back, a chance that they can have a say in the rebuilding of uh, their country. So he was a shining star and a role model for many of the country's uh, youth. And his death has cast a shadow here in Somalia, especially among the youth who saw him as a beacon of hope, uh, Mahia. Abdulaziz, thank you very much for keeping us up to speed. CGTN's Abdulaziz Bilo joining us live from Mogadishu.